That's not a good star picture. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that at all. All right, last episode. Let's see how it goes. You still run into them? This game's rude as fuck. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need she was anemic from the childbirth. Got it. Should have put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. She would have died either way. Got it. Thanks. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. Everybody be cool. You're like, why did they start shooting? We shot our own fucking teammate. Like, <laughs> what? That's weird as hell. I swear if you fucking killed Kenny, I'ma lose my shit. Gonna lose my shit. But you fucking shoot Clem? Oh, I'm really gonna lose my shit. Yo, fuck that guy in particular. He's the one that started all this stupid shit. Yeah, <laughs> Kenny. Grab the baby. Holy shit. I didn't even see him out there. Good work, Clem. Ooh. Shit. Okay. Okay, we gotta do something, y'all. Get down here. Can't just sit here and let this guy take pot shots at us till he runs out of ammo. So quit talking about it and do it. Yeah. Yeah, all right. If Luke dies, I'd feel a little bit bad, but at least it'd stop all the complaining. If I can just get over to that side of the wall, I can maybe get an angle on this guy. Cover me, alright? Just shoot over towards the woods. Yeah, okay. Good. Good. I just need the distraction. Okay? Alright, on my go. Hey, what are you? Luke, no! Oh shit. Oh, he did. Luke, are you okay? Uh, he got me in the leg, but I think, I think it went straight through. Shit, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna be fine. Yeah, that was the was Stevie now. You get out here, or I put a bullet in this kid's head. Shut up! That was Stevie now, brush you. You told some bitch. I said, shut up! Kenny, what are you doing? I'm in. No, Kenny's right. Get out here! Right fucking now! This is what you look at. Oh shit. Get out here. Please stop. 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 
Oh! Fuck! Don't make me shoot you, dude. Oh shit, Jane! Just stabbed him from the back, didn't he? Yup. What's going on, Wolf Mother? Thanks for the follow. Oh my god, the gargling! Thanks for coming back, Jane. Although you kind of started all this shit. Here, I got him. Kenny's your favorite badass? My favorite too. Jesus Christ. That was, uh... That was intense. Wait, did we not lose anyone? Man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks for coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. That didn't deserve it. I mean, I he kind of shot him. at us. But it's different. He deserved it. He was trying to kill us. Yeah, that's why I did it, but it felt wrong. Are you sure about this? As sure as I'm gonna be. Let's go. Fuck, man. This is my first playthrough, Wolf, yeah. How did this happen? She turned. Just like that. Don't you go blaming yourself, Kenny. You did what you had to, to protect the boy. She just lost too much blood. Ain't nobody's fault. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She would have been a good mom. Yeah, yeah, she would have. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest <sighs> easy. You! Piece of shit! Ugh. Hey, hey! Stop! Guys! Get guys, off me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is! Get out of the way! Whoa! What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us! It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, please! He's just a scared kid, man. Kenny, his his sister is dead. He's lost enough already. You don't have to do this. That is house, food. Please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit! No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I... I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny. Come on, Kenny. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. I... I think we can trust him. He wants to live as much as we do. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this. You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place. True. Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. It doesn't matter why it happened. We have to move on. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. We got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. Yo, I don't know what to think anymore, man. Look, I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I... I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. 
Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite everything I've seen. Everything I've been through. We needed you, but you left. How do I know it won't happen again? Believe it or not, I want to try and make this work. All I can do is promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... He's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. He's lost. It's changing him. He'll be okay. I've known him a while. Well, it's all starting to pile up. It's weighing on him. Everyone has a breaking point. No. Kenny must always be protected. Always. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. I'll do my best. I know. Come on, slow pokes! I played through all the endings, and depending on your other choices, you say that now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I probably fucked everything up, to be honest. <laughs> I have a tendency of not making the best choices. Wait up. Wait. We need to stop. No. No, I'm, I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just, I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Kenny, come on! There's no need for that! He's getting what he deserves. Do you have I'm a gun? Talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. Kenny! He understands. Just fucking stay put. That's why you should listen to the chat. No, that'd be Chad's playthrough, not my playthrough. Treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Yeah. Okay. Listen, a good content creator's thing is to make all the wrong decisions. So that way, you guys want to buy the game and make your own decisions. <laughs> always trying to Kick W. Each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. They're not all like that. There are good men too. Yeah, Lee didn't fucking do that shit. Yeah! Let's go, Lee! Well, I, I, I miss Lee, Lee, man. Me too. I wish she was here now. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Did you hear Bork Bork? No, my girlfriend was yelling from the kitchen. But my noise gate cuts hey, it off, so it probably sounds weird. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. You make us all frustrated so we can do better? Yeah! <laughs> Listen, I'm not making bad decisions. I'm just not making your decisions. You look like crap. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Don't make me laugh, all right? It hurts when I laugh. I miss Lee. How did we get here? Yeah, <laughs> we walked. What do you mean? Sitting in the snow, leaning up against a tree, bullet in my leg, but alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead for no good reason, 
And I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with just gone. Your BG noise just spooked you? I don't know what you're talking about. Carlos, Sarah, and for what? They didn't die in vain. I wish I could believe that. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. That's perfect. What I miss? Hmm. Uh. Nothing much. You know, complaining, mostly. Trying to guess how far this place is. I was just mentioning how cold it is lately. Yeah. Sounds like a cabinet shutting. You heard that? God damn it. Oh. I'm sure most of that'll come out with a little soap and water. I'm fine. The cabinet shutting. Hey, Clem, this mic just fucking picks everything up. Change the bandages on cabinet shutting? I offered, but I don't yeah. think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. They really need changing. Okay. That a girl. That's gonna sting. You're deaf? You didn't hear anything? <laughs> it's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna yep. suck. Yep. It's gotta get done. Remember when I stole this from you guys? Because you guys didn't want to sew me up? I remember that. Go on. You can do it. Yo, am I gonna have to pour this on Kenny? Oh, fucking Kenny, dude. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah. Me too. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. Can I change your bandages? You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. Can you protect you? Don't you worry. The fuck? Scroll up. There we go. So how's it look? It doesn't look too bad. When this heals? I'm glad Carver's dead. We saw to that, didn't we? Fuck, dude. Can you get fucked up? Protect Kenny. Kenny, this is going to sting like an absolute motherfucker. So, yeah, it's going to be bad. This is going to be the shitty part. So, this is going to hurt like hell. Well, you could have lied a little. You know? No, no point in lying to you, Kenny. <sighs> yep. Holy fucking hell. Yep. You need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're right. Dude, it's cosplay, lol. Kenny, I'm so sorry. I know this doesn't hurt like an absolute fucking bitch. Sorry, <laughs> your language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. But man, is that smart? He can hear a few bad words. I've heard plenty. <laughs> That shouldn't have been the case. No, in a normal world, it shouldn't have been. I giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little longer. We should have saved him sooner. Got him out of the camp. See, he's coming back to his senses. Every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here. Raising this boy. It should be him. Carver's the one who did it, not you. Yeah, I suppose. But I can't help but feel guilty. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go?
Protect Kenny, I protect have... Clem. It's the most well-behaved baby in the world. I know, right? Especially in the cold. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm surprised that his foot thing hasn't attracted more zombies. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you. What? It? it? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. He doesn't speak much English. Arvo, we're not trying to be mean to you. We just want to know if this is where the supplies are. Is this the place you're taking us? Are the supplies here? No, it's at the house. There's still more work. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all God, day. God, stop fighting all of the time. Stop fighting. Can we? Just try and have a calm, quiet night where everyone isn't at each other's throats. Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. No spoilers. People die, people die. If, uh... See if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. <laughs> Shh, it's okay. It's okay. You're a natural. I think he likes you. Oh. Calmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. <laughs> That's yeah, true. Come on over. It's safe. <sighs> we want to see how many people Chrono kills? What do you mean? I've lost no one that the game didn't schedule to lose, except Ben, which I purposely let die. Fuck Ben. You know, that poor dude just tied up away from the heat? That's some bullshit. Your giggle sounds like my uncle. If that's the first time you've heard my giggle, you, <laughs> you have plenty of laughing to hear. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So that makes you what? Twenty seven? That's that's right. I'm surprised you remember it. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. That's crazy. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. <laughs> hey I'm man. Sure some asshole sitting on that paperwork waiting to collect. What did you study? Majored in art history. Oh shit. <laughs> Imagine. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh stop it. <laughs> get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, and while it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time as any. Yeah, fuck, give me that sip. Just kidding. I'd like a sip. I mean, after you, obviously. Really? No. <laughs> you are not drinking. That is that. Feel a little guilty taking the first. Whoa, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the. Uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. What was your choice in Carverdite? Oh, I watched the shit out of him get murdered. Um, Fuck that guy. To the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. 
someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. I can take it. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Listen, I'm not an undercover sicko, right? I'm I'm on team leave Lenny not alone. So leave Kenny not alone. So I was there with Kenny. That's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know, I know, I just don't know what she's getting at all this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Lou, it's because she fucked with her. And come on, dude. It's a secret how you feel about her. Yeah, exactly. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. <laughs> I don't know. Guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. It wasn't 10 minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, that, that That's what we're talking was about. There any kissing? You shut your mouth right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she came back for you. Oh. I doubt it. I don't know what to say to that. I don't know. Maybe she likes him? No, I think we could bet on that. Because you see here, Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. <laughs> Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. Oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Hey. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. That's an interesting saying. I've never heard that before. I like that. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change their minds. Also, what about this dude, dude? This poor fuck has been just out here in the cold. Fucking in for losing his sister and shit. I'm... I'm sorry about your sister. Nothing? Leave me alone, please. Okay, well... Okay. Okay, angles are really easy to control here. Carl! I only watched the first season of the Walking Dead TV series. Over there with alcohol? Yep. I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. Will it work? That depends. What is it? It's rum? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. The internet cut out what was the saying? Um it, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to you know. It'll only be weird if you make it weird. Just be cool. What was the saying? I wish it was that easy. A drunk man's words are a silver man's thoughts. It has to be. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? really good. Have you had any? You want to sit? It's okay. Uh, I'm a kid. Uh, okay then. 
I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. <laughs> At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. Sounds like a mess. Yeah, it was. Every couple years, someone would step on a piece of glass that didn't get swept up. <laughs> the problem with glass is it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me. Drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. You ate glass? They pumped my stomach. You ate glass? I ate glass. I haven't thought about that in a long time. What have we learned? I guess a deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Another saying you like, there's always a little seriousness in every just kidding. That's the truth. Not make it weird. Don't trust sugar. Don't trust something within glass that might be glass. <laughs> that should be pretty simple. No, that's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wherever you like. Listen, if it hasn't gone bad after a couple of years, it's probably not candy. It's probably glass. But if you want to take that chance, I mean, uh, you know, feel free to be an idiot. <laughs> there, there, little guy. Shh. Shh, I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clam. Just, uh, Needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. Hmm. <laughs> That's great. I like that too. How I acted back there after Sarita was. No, I get it, Kenny. Just, I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You. You really hurt my feelings. I did my best, and... I know. I was just... in darkness. And you showed up... with some light. But I thought I needed to stay there... a little longer. When I should have went with you. Okay. Yo, Clem is wise beyond her ages. I miss him so much. I know, I miss Doc too. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Duck. To touch Conscious Face. I miss Duck too. He was a good friend. And I haven't had too many of them. Mm. He was a good boy. Pure. Just wanted folks to be happy. That's all. Boy like that. Thrown into a world like this. It's going to be different with him. He's going to get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Uh, you should get back over by the fire, Kenny. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. You should come too. I don't know. Come yeah. on. It'll be good for everyone. Yeah, okay. Don't even need alcohol. Let's go, Kenny. 
I do want to try this dude one more time. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. Oh! Shh, shh. All right, enough of that. Hey, you, Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah, we need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. Hell yeah. <laughs> Someone crying? Oh, it's him. Not surprised, man. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. Come on, Kenny. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. He needs it as much as anyone right now. It's a nice thing to do. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. Mm -hmm. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best Leave to- Leave me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have- Leave me alone! It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I, uh, well, don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. At least we got a few laughs. He probably said, oh God, or something like that. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. Behind you! What the fuck? Ah! Jesus Christ! That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere! That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. Well. There. That piece of shit? It's half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. I'd just like a place to sit, if I'm honest. Is there any other way to get there? Do we have to cross the lake? I should have stuck to the tree line. The fastest way between two things is a straight line. It's not far. Just be on the lookout. Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Say it in an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. Maybe we shouldn't clump together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out. Just to be safe. Less weight the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. 
Wait, if he falls in, there's no fucking way he's getting out with that leg. He would drown. Oh shit. We're okay. That's not what we want. Now bro, you better not go right behind where I left that giant ass crack on the ground. Fuck, there's so many walkers behind us. We got some walkers behind us. That's only a few of them. We should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Fuck. That's two less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! God, Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! No! Kenny! Don't hurt him! Well, they made it. Oh shit. Nanny. Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's it's fine. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. Too thin for both of us. I just I just got to be careful. Oh, ooh, no. ooh. Stop. Stop. Like Clem grab it. She weighs less. I'm I got it. You need to help. No. Clem, go. Go help no, him. No, Clem, Clem, do not. Just go back for him. You're light. You Stop can do it. Stop telling her that. Clem, look at me. Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Clem, you can make it, but you need to go. No. Now. Clem, Last time I thought I was there, I wasn't. And I was too heavy. Thanks. Thanks. I'll be on a sec. Just, just keep shooting. No, I'm gonna make it. My, my, my leg. I just Hold on, I got you. Rest a second. Uh, keep him off us, Clem. No, no, it's too much. Too what much. do you I'm idiot? I can save you. Both kill. Come on. Stop. I got gotcha. you. You're actually so stupid. Yep, like I said, you're actually an idiot. Now both y'all gonna have fucking hypothermia. Why did you go in there? <sighs> the did that happen? There's a fireplace. Jesus Christ. We have to get them warm. They're going to freeze to death. He's just gone. Looks fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. The ice. It was too thin. I just... Once that ice started to go, there wasn't nothing any of us could do. You got him. Oh, shut up, woman. You're the one that got him killed. This ain't on you. 
You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault! Kenny, don't, man! Don't what? It's nobody's damn fault! <sighs> I'm freezing. Can we just get a fire started? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? This is a trap, isn't it? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit. Kenny! Fuck you. You mother. Fuck what the fuck, Kenny? Piece of What? Lose your taste for this sort of thing? The fuck, Kenny? What did you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is going to help How is beating a kid to death going to help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. What do you mean it's Kenny's fault? I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? These hurt real bad. Mike. Yeah. Yeah, okay. What was the choice for Luke? Either go there to save him or cover him. You got a light? I thought I had matches. Are you asking what? What choice I made? I covered him. You kept it. If only starting a fire was that easy, I know, right? Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. What the fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. Yeah, last time I tried dealing with the can of something, I got fucking attacked by a dog. Thank you. Which I then proceeded to kill. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. There's no way to save the dog? Fuck, that sucks. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Just give me a minute. <laughs> I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him.
Honestly, I would eat the dog. <laughs> if I'm being, being entirely honest. Just Especially after that motherfucker took my arm off. I was hoping to talk to that dude. That's really unfortunate. That's why I asked for a minute, but I guess, you know. Whatever. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Really, Kenny. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, alright? Yeah, but you gotta not be so fucking Let's cold to me, Kenny. Go. Especially as someone who's had nothing but your back the entire time. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son bitch. But he taught me respect. Girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. Ken, you gotta let go for a bit, man. We're all just tired. Hell, I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. No combustion. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running, and then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Oh, it's not combustion, well, no ignition. Be out there. Now, those rumors can't all be bunk. Sounds good to me. We're gonna make it, Clem. I know it. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. I did. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. It's a bad battery. This thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. What is it? Ignition combustion gas? Pretty sure that's the thing you're supposed to think of when turning over a car. Need any help? I'm fine. Go check on AJ. One of the few things I learned when dealing with cars. Those are the three key components of starting a car. Wish they'd finished this place. So if you don't hear the of a car, you don't have enough power in the battery for the ignition. And then the bump up bump up that's combustion? And that's normally from either a spark plug going bad, and then the last one's gas to keep it going where it doesn't stay turning over. Cool tips for survival. What do you want? I'm sorry about Luke. Sorry. It must be nice being a pretty <sighs> Yo, you to shut the fuck up. Why are you such a bitch? You and I both know you had a chance to save Luke. You and I both know what you're staring at me that way for. I got nothing more to say to you. Make those noises again, bro. That's all the noises I can give you. Yo, why is she mean? Like she cut. She knows she's the reason she died, right? She's the reason he died. Because he specifically said, don't fucking come onto the ice right next to me. What does she do? I need to help you protect. So you can't protect if you're not actually going to protect. Looks broken. Probably not a good idea to use the generator. That's probably just going to make noise. 
He would have died regardless. I know, but still, she can't blame other people if she's the cause. She's just passing the blame when she should have stayed the fuck off the ice like you asked. Hey. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. She blames Clem no matter what she'd use? What an asshole. I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Don't even get started on this shit. Nice job. Totally different. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. No, nope, we protect Kenny at all costs. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. See, here's a real big difference, right? Carver's a piece of shit who would immediately kill this baby because it's an inconvenience to survive. Kenny wants to protect. Seems like you've done that before. You want to try? No way. It's going to puke. Clem, no. <laughs> Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. My name's Jane. I think it's going to puke. It's not gonna puke. It pukes. <laughs> Get red nerves. Listen, if you sleep with a man the way you are, you better get used to doing that. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. He's gonna get that to turn over, isn't he? He got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. Oh, shit. So he made it? Oh, fuck. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and rip the neck right out of this old lady. Oh, fuck. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the... Ooh! That's turnover! She was watching a bird. It's working on combustion. Look, Clem. Hey! Let's go! Pog you! Are you my uncle? No, but I make dad jokes. <laughs> All the fucking time! <laughs> Tell you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Not much. We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? What? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? We're already here. Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. Uh, I'm with Kenny. I'm sorry. Nah, man, this is fucking nuts. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. My friend Krista, she told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go, and we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got to help an AJ. What about Arbo? 
Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. <laughs> Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Kenny, are you okay? Yo fucking bullying Kenny. Settle down, fuck adults, man. You better talk some sense into him. You better fucking lay the fuck off. For his sake. I'll protect Kenny at all costs. I'll let him run one of your asses over. Sorry, just give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. I don't understand them either. I know. I know, Clem. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. I wish Lee was here. Me too. What do you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together and to keep my hair short. Mm. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people Have a good night, like Cornwall. Thanks for hanging out. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? Yeah. You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now grown up uh, I felt pride a pride I hadn't felt in a long time but I need you now Clem there have to be folks doing better than us it's the only chance that child has something has to be out here we'll find it Kenny protect Kenny I, I could count on you Clem just stop can't right. stop being dick we'll to me though everything out in the morning Let's get some sleep, so we gotta be ready. Walking Dead what? Chrono protects Clem. Walking Dead 2. Chrono protects Kenny. We must protect Chrono. <laughs> my fucking chat never protects me. <laughs> my, my chat only attacks. Yo, if they stole the truck, I'd be so fucking pissed. Fuck is that noise? Uh, sir and ma'am, what the fuck are you doing next to my truck? Shit. Kenny must have kids. 
What's going on? Really? Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clown. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. You guys are gonna try to fucking leave Kenny? We're just leaving. No, 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 the fuck, you're not. Now keep it down, all right? Nobody else has to get involved. That's everything we have. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. No, fuck you guys. Who? Kenny? Clem, damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Come on, Mike. Let's just go. No! Oh, the fuck do you mean? I'll kill all three of you. and slow and you're gonna give me the gun okay Kenny Jane help they're robbing us are you fucking kidding me no Clem oh my god Jesus oh god Mike we have to go just leave her oh my god Clem what the fuck did you do? Clem! What did you do? Clem! Clem! I'm killing everyone. Clem! Clementine! Oh! <gasps> it's Lee's voice! You can't do this to me! Uh, Lee? Just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? Duck? Not this some bullshit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. When I was a kid, I never got sick, but my brother always had something. It's not like a cold. No, it's probably not. You can't do this to me, game. Come on. Look at Kenny. I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. He didn't mean it. Lee? Hmm? Why did Lily do that to Carly? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Look how fucking cool Lee was. Gave a good reason and justification of actions, even if it wasn't. You know what I mean? Because of her dad. <sighs> Lee was just good. Yeah. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? Nope. <laughs> nope. I don't think so. I don't know. It wasn't easy. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't a right answer. I hate math. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Uh, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. Yeah. I'm scared, Lee. 
What can I tell you to make it better? <sighs> that you won't leave me. Oh, that hurts worse than it needs to. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I promise. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> God, it hurt to wake up from this as a dream. Now let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. Oh. Protect Clem. Protect Lee. You willingly claim here so I could break your heart. I'm so sorry for Lilith. <laughs> Slow down. Shut up. She's awake. Hey, you. Clem. Oh, thank God. You passed out from the shock. What happened? That piece of shit Rusky shot you. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It's ideal. It'll run a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? We never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I can't believe they did that. I don't think they knew what they were doing, except trying to get away. Yeah, well, they're gone now. Good fucking riddance. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to Howe's. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. Wellington's out there. We have to keep looking, Jane. Clem, you can't be falling for this. She made up her mind, Jane. Clem, please. This is suicide. Why don't you let her think for herself for once? Why don't you? Me? Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Damn. Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. Yo, chill! Shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. Kenny! You don't care about nobody but Chill. yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Watch the road. I am, goddammit. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking... Yo, end. shut up, Jesus both Christ, of you. I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Oh my god. I, where were you? Dude, I no. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Nobody who died is anyone's fault. We, we all wanted to be together and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh, the feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Oh, Goodbye. fuck you. That ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're going to end up dead. Sarita knew it. 
I know it, and so does Clementine. Oh, fuck you, dude. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Guys, look at in front of you. There's literally a roadblock. You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny... Really though, I'm gonna need you to shut. I can't do this anymore. What do you mean I'm you can't serious. do this anymore? I tried. You're both fucking I losing can't. it. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around him. You know that. No, it's not. I'm not like that at all. You fucker. Clem, we could leave. Oh, Clem. shut up. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. Get us out of here. I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. Don't just sit there. What are you doing? Hurry up. Jesus. Oops. Why's my finger never on the fucking keys? Oh, get out of there. The door is stuck. Shit. Shit. There are more of them. Move. Clem. Clem, hurry. Oh. Why they let a 10 year old drive? I don't fucking know. <laughs> so how is it too cold for we're freezing to fucking death and the zombies are fine? I actually cannot see shit. The fuck am I looking at? Oh, that's me. <laughs> that's the Zambi. Yeah, that's a Zambi. I don't have to shoot at you, though. <laughs> a lot of bickering between Jane and Kenny. Yep, and then Jane being a fucking dickhead. And then Kenny getting lost, shooting at some zombies, trying to get us to survive. Also known as J Kenny always trying to take care of the fucking group and people pissing on his parade. Don't get me wrong, Kenny's sometimes kind of a dick, but he seems to be doing all right. God, I can't actually see shit. This is awful. Hey, 
AG probably froze to death. Nah, she's a survivor. Oh, the baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jane? Kenny? You all right? Yeah. Where is he? Where's the kid? He's with her. You left him with her? Jane? Jane! Oh shit. There she is. I think. Wait. Oh, thank Christ. Jane, you okay? Where's the kid? Where's the kid? Jane, where is he? Jane? Where is he? He's... How he froze to death. What are you saying? <laughs> no. No! No, not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Just trust me, Clem. Stay out of what? You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. Kenny, calm down. Don't do anything stupid. Get out of my way. Kenny? How could you kill a fucking child? I didn't kill him. It was an oh, accident, shit. Kenny. I won't back down from you, Kenny. Shut up. I'm warning you. Kenny, let her talk. I'm done talking, Clem. Clem, stay back. Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh shit. Jane! Asshole! Oh shit! Why? Yo, what the fuck? I'll fucking kill you. Oh my god. Protect Kenny. He's gone. You didn't have to 
kill her, Kenny. I'm sorry, darling. But I did. Oh, come on. And the baby's fine? Go! I'm right behind you. Kenny, what the fuck, dude? Oh my god, AJ. Are you okay? He's alive. AJ, let me see him. We lost you, buddy. Then you... You didn't have to kill her. You didn't have to kill Jane. It was me or her, Clem. She was trying to kill me, too. If she hadn't lied about Alvin here, it wouldn't have went that far. I just... Why would she... She was nuts, Clem. A disturbed person that had her own agenda and was looking out for herself. Shh, shh, shh. It's all right, buddy. Hey, listen, I didn't want that to happen either. I thought she'd killed Alvy Clem, and at any point she could have stopped what was happening by saying he was fine. She wanted a fight. Yeah, he's got a point. I never, ever hurt you. You understand? I was protecting you. You believe me, right? Just imagining what she did to Alvy. Everything just went black. By the time I got my head straight, it was too late. I... I believe you. Okay. Thanks. Why are they spending the entire time trying to make Kenny look evil? This is some bullshit. I'm pissed. Come on. Let's put some miles between us and this place. This is, this, what a fucking horrible way of proving a point. Do you mean to say that your point wouldn't have been proven if you brought the baby in totally fine and Kenny didn't go out of his way to kill her? Maybe if you did and Kenny tried to kill her? Yeah, I'd be like, okay. Yeah. yeah, Kenny's fucking crazy. But no, you purposely went out of your way to start shit. You sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Kenny. The only point she got was a knife, yeah. Should we stop and rest a little? <laughs> Might not be able to get up if we do that. Come on, I'll race you to the top. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Come on, Alvy, we got this. Also, I wouldn't be running around, there could be bear traps. You cheated. Whoa. Whoa, that's protected. Holy shit. We did it, Clem. That's... That's gotta be it. I... <laughs> Looks like a big wall. What? Out here? In the middle of nowhere? No. That's gotta be it. What are we waiting for? Come on. This one's gonna be the one. Look at those walls. We finally feel safe, Clem. Be able to sleep at night. Oh shit, he's got the fuck out of me. That's far enough. Just stay still, Clem. Do as she says. Put your hands up, Clem. Drop your weapons. Just a couple of people at the front gate. They don't look like trouble. Sounds good. Hi, I'm Edith. 
Name's Kenny. And this year's Clementine. Hello. Oh, what a handsome boy. Look at him. What's his name? Alvin. Junior. Oh, he's gonna be a little heartbreaker when he grows up. Why'd you make us leave our stuff over there? Can't we just bring it in? What? Well... I'm afraid this is the part where I give you the bad news. Oh, shit. The hell's this? That's some supplies. Food, water, what? some medicine, a first aid kit. Why are kit. you giving us this? Unfortunately, our community isn't accepting new members. We're over capacity as it is, and there's just not enough to go around if we keep bringing people in. Things might change you in a few months. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I'm sorry. I really am. So we're supposed to just take this and go? But there's only two of us. I know, dear. But I don't make the rules. Do you know what we've been through? You have any idea what it took for us to get here? And now... Now you're just gonna turn us away. Look, I don't mean to be harsh, but... A whole lot of other people went through a whole lot of stuff to get here, too, and... They all got here before you. And don't think you're the first people we've had to turn away. You're not. But that doesn't mean I'm not real, real sorry to have to do this. If it, if it was up to me, I... Just take the kids. What? Please, just take the kids. It's too dangerous out here for them. Kenny, I... It's just a little girl and a baby boy. You can make room for that. You can take back the supplies you gave us if that helps. Please, just... I need them to be safe. And it's safe in there. I know that. Just ask someone, please. They won't make it out here. Please. Oh. I'll, I'll ask. Kenny, no, dude. <sighs> you don't need to look at me like that. We're not staying here without you. Yes, you are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. I'm not leaving Kenny. Fuck that. It's safe here. You two will be safe. That's what's important now. Listen, I'll leave the kid, but I'm not leaving you. We can take the children, but... Just the children. I made the case that... Thank you. Thank you. Listen, okay? Listen. This is your chance. For you and this boy. I don't trust myself to keep you two safe. Not anymore. Please. I'm begging you. Please, stay here. Stay here where it's safe. Where you two will have a chance. No, no, no! Why are you doing this? Because it's the only way. For both of you. <laughs> Think about Alvy here. Please, Clem. Just do as I'm asking. This one... Last time. Nope. You'll meet people. You'll make friends. People better than me. Good people. That, that don't have to look at you and feel ashamed at what they put you through. Please, Clem. Please. Where you won't have to sleep with a gun next to you every night. Where you can be a kid for a while. Gunner, I can't trust you. You always have horrible decisions. <laughs> you always have bad decisions. I want to keep him safe. But there's no option just to have the baby go there. I can't leave Kenny alone, dude. Not after him losing everything. You know what I mean? He'd probably... He'd give up if he lost everyone. Gunner, I can't trust you. <laughs> you always have horrible decisions. This man needs people.
Fucking hate this. I actually hate this. Why is there no option just to leave the, the baby? Daddy and all the people who tried to keep him safe. You tell him, okay? He deserves to know. Uh, I got. Uh... Oh, here, here. Take this. When he, when he's old enough, you make him wear it. It'll, it'll keep the sun out of his eyes. That's important. I don't want to leave Kenny, man. Keep an eye out for him. Please. Now, you take care of Alvin here. You, you live a good life, okay? Don't waste this, okay? Now, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Before one of us... Before one of us changes their mind. Now... I'm gonna walk away, and I might not look back. Not because I don't want to. I'm real glad to have met you, Clementine. Would Kenny have killed himself if I decided that we all wanted to leave to make us stay? I feel like that's something Kenny would have done. And I'd be super fucking pissed. I would have honestly probably alt f would at that point. <laughs> I would have literally alt f would and be like, all right, guys, we're finding a new game to play. I gotta go. <laughs> Yeah, now I feel like a fucking asshole. 21% of people stayed. That means 80% of people wanted to stay with Kenny. I'm never reading chat again when I'm making decisions. I don't know. I thought maybe chat would have been like, here, this, is, this will make you feel better. No. I just fucking never listen to chat. What happens if you don't go to Wellington? With Kenny. Let's see here. Plus, the Kenny ending gives you an extra flashback.
I first went to the willing tenny, but felt so guilty that I reloaded the checkpoint and chose Kenny. There's no real sayings here what would happen. Wait, what? If you don't go to Willington, they kill Kenny in a car crash? Wait, what? You must have missed what happened to Luke. Luke uh, fell into the, the ice pool, uh, like a, a lake, and died. Well, I'm not blaming chat. I'm just saying I can't read chat when it comes to making decisions. I get skewed. This is my playthrough. <laughs> Fuck this shit. That's the end of the game? It ends like that? There has to be one more scene. Come on. That's it? Nani?